Uh, really exciting news for today. We had our third uh, signee, Brecken Sperling, signed with uh, Northwestern College. I was super excited for him. Uh, he goes to a program that I just have a ton of respect for. Uh, Coach Dahl and Coach Hergod, who recruited him, they're just great coaches and on the wrestling mat, but also just great builders of men. So I'm really looking forward to watching him flourish there. Uh, this is our third signee. So we had Max Mayfield initially commit to uh, Northwestern University. Um, and just Max is a, a kid that has had high goals from the moment that he stepped in this room, but just have been really proud about his development uh, as a wrestler, but also as a leader and somebody that just makes one good choice after another that has set himself up to be in the position to you know, be recruited by Division I colleges and um, to be somebody that they sought after, not only you know wrestling skill, but also character-wise. Um, he was our, our first commit. Um, and then the second uh, commit that we had was Grant Lyman, who committed to uh, UNK, Nebraska Kearney. And we have some history there. Coach McCurdy and I are both proud alums of uh, UNK, and so we're excited to keep that Spartan to Loper pipeline strong. Um, Grant turned a lot of heads. He's, he's just somebody that has significantly proved with every single passing season. And in this off season, he won the fall brawl competition. And I think he turned a lot of heads um, from a lot of colleges. And, and I know Coach Jensen um, from UNK was really pumped about that performance. And he's somebody that is is just going to continue to get better in college. Coach McCurdy and I just have a ton of respect for him. He's a, he's a country kid who just, you know, really thrives under working hard and, and just enjoys that grind. And and uh, he, he's going to continue to get better and I think be very productive at the Division II level for UNK. As a coach, it just makes me extremely proud and excited for these guys to want to. First of all, just that, that desire to compete at the next level. It means that we're doing something right, that, they, that they're loving what they do. And that's one of Coach McCurdy's philosophy uh, is, is, is that we, we want these kids to do uh, you know, to love the sport of wrestling. And so when they commit to that next level, it means that, that they want to continue to pursue the sport. And so that's extremely exciting as, as a coach. Uh, I think there's a, I get that question a lot. What do you need to do to, you know, to get college looks? And, and sometimes it is just to shoot an email out and say, Hey coach, this guy is wanting to compete at the next level. I think he's, you know, he's got great character. He's got great grades and he's somebody that works really hard. And that's, I think that, that email and, and letting coaches know, you know, that, that goes a long way. But we also try to set up our schedule as a program to get these guys some looks, and not, not only in the state of Nebraska, but also, you know, the Gardner-Edgerton invite where, where we're seeing some nationally ranked teams. The Council Bluffs Classic, where we're seeing some nationally ranked teams. It gives them the opportunity, one, to wrestle the best guys and know what that feels like, but it is also an opportunity for them to, you know, to beat some some top level guys, and and that that is actually how Max Mayfield ends up, you know, getting recruited by Division One programs is he beats some guys with some big names, and all of a sudden coaches are are, are talking to you, and so um, I think that combined with wrestling in the off season, going to things like Fargo and and, and camps and and other tournaments that are surrounding the area is just the more exposure. Uh, they get the better looks that they're going to get from colleges. And also, I think that the more you wrestle, the more you understand the sport, the more that you enjoy the sport. And so um, that, those are some of the things that we do as a program to get these, these guys um, some looks at the next level and, and eventually you know, being able to be a Brecken Sperling, a Grant Lyman, or a Max Mayfield and being able to um, you know, sign your name and, and, and look forward to competing at the next level. Drill match, getting a nice hard burn in the lungs before we head over to Pies the 10th High School for the Battle of A Street. They're about 
three blocks down the road. Private school, they have got uh, a lot of wrestling tradition, so they always put together some good solid wrestlers, so it'll be a fun duel tonight, and uh, hopefully the boys will be ready to roll. Time, everybody up and walking. Up and walking. If you want to jog, you can jog, but up and walking. Up and moving a little bit. Yeah, yeah. Keith is right on weight, and we're just, you know, increase the metabolism a little bit, just in case. Something crazy happens this game. No, no. You can't wait, just breathe in that. There's no Chris Benoit. You ever heard of the Crippler cross yeah. face? Yep. There, here, and then, and then you pull up. <laughs> Post weigh-in food is like make two at a time. Right? He's like on deck. His waffles like just finishing up. Just like, wait. <laughs> hey, hold on. I'll get there in a second, fellas. <laughs> Started high stool right now. Got some recent advancements. Brandon Bowster, while warming up for this duel, kind of dinged up his knee, so he's gonna be out for this duel, and then actually for this weekend as well. So that kind of hurts us for this weekend, but luckily we got Gabe Terman to step in, so those things happen. Just gotta be next man up, and so excited to see how this duel shakes out. Fantastic performance both by both teams, junior varsity team and varsity team. You guys showed up tonight and you competed hard and you did you did a great job representing Lincoln East Wrestling and what we're about. And that's that's showing greediness, showing heart. Uh, Parker Ch Chandler was just saying, how many times did we get that bonus point at the very end? Get that last second takedown, get that last second escape, doing things, little things within matches that make a difference later on down the road. Like the, the bonus points didn't matter tonight, right? On the on the team sport point score, but it does make a difference in upcoming duels. It do, does make a difference when the, the match is tied at the state tournament, you've got to find a way to, to, to pull it out when you don't want to, right? Some really great things. We've got some adversity thrown our way. All right, no doubt about it, right? People have gotten hurt. We don't have the same team that we did at the beginning of the year. This is where we can have guys that step up and take advantage of opportunities and give everything that they got. And, and, and this is moments where you should, you should desire, bo, 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 whether you're a guy that's been in the varsity lineup or a guy that's a junior varsity guy stepping in, how can I contribute? What can I do to step up and help my team? And from tonight, it looked like a lot of you did that. A lot of you uh, from the junior varsity side to the varsity side starting momentum, um, and just fighting hard and, 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 and wrestling, wrestling the way that we want Spartan wrestlers to, to wrestle. So, real proud of the performance tonight. We are at 
the Flatwater Fracas in Grand Island, Nebraska. Toughest dual tournament in the state throughout the course of the season. We are literally starting as we speak. We've got Manhattan, Kansas first round. They are a very tough Kansas team, perennial power. So it should be a good duel right out the gates. Hopefully we can win all four matches in our pool and advance into the gold bracket tomorrow. Can we sustain it the entire day, right? It's easy to fight when you're fresh, but can you fight when you're tired? And that's the next thing is jet, typically as the day wears on, guys don't fight as hard. I want the opposite to be true of our, this team. I want as the day goes on, we fight that much harder. We need the same thing as Tool. Get ready to rock and roll. Let's do it. performances that 
Lankanese Wrestling's ever had. I, I'm gonna go out and say that. I, I literally thought we were underdogs in each one of our duels. We had swing matches upon swing matches that I thought it favored them a little bit. We're winning these swing matches. We're scoring bonus points where, where we need to. We're getting creative, finding new ways to pin guys. Okay, we're bumping guys up weight classes That's and not giving up. I mean, I, I could go up and down. Gigi gets pinned in a heartbreaker and he comes right back up. Okay, Aiden Eagleson's wrestling one of the best guys in the state and does not back down. Eddie Lankis is all I can say is he can be defined as a warrior, right? Every single one of his matches, he turns it into a war and it favors him because he's a stinking warrior. You guys, and, and, and listen, it's contagious. I told Sherlock I wanted to bump him up and I wanted him to, to wrestle one of the best guys in the state. Same thing with Aiden Ingerson. And these guys did not back down. They didn't just put their head down and say, oh gosh darn it, right? They fought with everything they had. They, they didn't get pinned by some of the best guys and that is what makes the team thing so great. That's what makes duels so great. Chayton Cook could have easily too, the match, the duel before, we were planning on wrestling. So Chayton was planning on wrestling and then we, we switched it last minute on him. It would have been easy for him to be like, Low confidence, gosh dang it, why, 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 why this, why that? He, he just stays the course, and then he goes out there against one of the best guys and gets a pin. Guys, it, that was awesome. And this team is a team that I'm, with a performance like that and a fight, just a fight and a grit. I mean, we, we, we beat teams on fight, on grit, on technique. We beat teams in all phases today, and no matter what happens tomorrow, if we can come out with the same heart as we did today, I'm gonna be very pleased. All right, could not be prouder of every single one of you guys. It defined Lincoln East Wrestling for me today. I pressed it. Should be going. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, we are about to witness the first apple that this man has eaten in 12 years. 12 years. First, first, first bite of an apple in 12 years. Yep, first bite of an apple, 12 years. Okay. Well, you're the have, uh, this was referenced. I don't have express written permission to have him in this video. Oh, that's a good point. Yeah, we'll that we'll was, edit that part that out. express written consent. Oh, can you provide no, consent right now on the... Do not have no, I think he said do. That's we consent. could just cut out the knot. Yeah. Just edit out the knot. Boom. Science. Okay. So, um, first time, first, as referenced on the podcast, that Coach McCurdy and I did last week. So Here we go. First bite, 12 years. One bite, everyone knows who Oh, this is... I never did say you're sorry. God, you chewed me out like Oh! And... Oh, no! No, what? I didn't like it. Oh, my gosh. This is pathetic. Oh, yeah. Yo, got it. Got him. Day two. We are going to have a real tough day today. We got... Right away, we're going to have Miller South, number one ranked team in the state top 25 in the nation. Then we're gonna have Grand Island, Columbus, and Kearney. It's going to be uh, real tough. This is pretty much state duels for Class A, and um, it's gonna be a really good preview of, of what's to come later on in this year. So we pretty much get to see all the top competition today. We get to see where we kind of stack up, and we're moving some weights around. We got guys going different places. So should be fun, should be pretty interesting. Let's, uh, let's get it rolling. short memory okay obviously that was a tough duel good team um, are there spots are there moments where we could have performed better yeah are there some moments where we performed pretty well yeah there were um, but really at this point in time the bottom line is we just got to have a short memory okay the rest of these teams right here are coming to smack us in the mouth okay and we've got to be ready we cannot let that duel defeat us we've got wrestling to do today all right 
So let's get out there and do it. Spartans on three. One, two, three. Spartans! right before that last duel about trying to put that Millard South duel behind us. I don't know how well we did or didn't do that. It felt like, I just think today I feel, and, and we're wrestling better teams, so obviously that's something that we take into account. That's something we think about. We're, we're wrestling good teams, but maybe not quite the attack that I'd like to see. Just maybe not quite the, not quite the, the that fierce competition where it's just third period, it's gut check time, we're going after the guy. We're trying to score, we're trying to be relentless, we're trying to get guys tired. I just, I don't know, I just think we could have a little higher intensity. I'm not saying that we necessarily should have won either of those duels, I just, I just would like to see a, a higher level of intensity from us. Right. The challenge is, hey, it's duel seven, we're wrestling the best teams in the state. This is, the, this is a mini state tournament, right? I mean, this is the best teams in the state that we will be wrestling at state duels. <laughs> Some of you have got one versus two matchups. The challenge now is on duel seven is can you come out with the same energy and in same intensity that you did yesterday? You proved that you can fight and you can scrap as hard as anyone yesterday, okay? <coughs> but now, now we gotta rise in the challenge to do it against the best guys in the seventh and eighth duel when our bodies are tired, okay? We're gonna have five days off after today. You have got to leave it all out on the mat here in duel seven and duel eight. All right, be comp recover, rest, take it easy, and then be ready to go against Columbus here coming up next. Nothing gets easy here. And this is what we should want. We should want to be in these battles. All right, bring it in. Yeah. Wes and Sherlock, break it out. Spartans on three. One, two, three, Spartans. It's always, it's always tough when you say that you feel like you competed better when you won. But, I mean, honestly, we just competed a lot harder, I think, 
in those last two duels. They're two quality teams. But, you know, even if we would have lost all four duels today, if we would have competed like that every match, I think, you know, we can still say it's a great day. I just was really proud of the fight in the last two duels. Obviously, there's still things we can improve. Definitely things we can improve on technique-wise, every guy. Um, but a couple highlights for me, just in that last duel, Cole Tolene continuing to push, continuing to extend his lead, and going for the pin. All right, that's huge, guys. It is so huge to keep wrestling, keep pouring it on the guy, keep fighting, keep trying to score, even when you've got a lead. Gabe Terman. Guys, you want to talk about fight? Just fighting like a maniac against a super tough wrestler, bumping up a weight class. Guys, there is, you cannot replace, you cannot substitute fight. Like, that is just so incredible. And, and he ended up saving a major at the end because he, did, he just kept wrestling the whole match and fighting the whole match. Firing two days for this team. They, they, <coughs> the last two days got me really excited about this team and the fight that we are willing to give out on the mat and the fight that we're willing to give to each other. And we're going to have some time now. We, we need to heal up. We've been through some three grinding tournaments. Probably the three of the toughest tournaments that we'll go to until the district and state tournament, which is great. You guys are prepared. And the way that you met the challenge for these last two duels was really, really, ex makes me super excited about the fight that you're gonna put in for the remainder of the season. So, great job, great job. I did not think that this tournament was gonna be like this for us. But we we turned a lot of had a out. great fight. And, and Case Jurgens had a great fight. There were so many matches where we were fighting till the end. That's what we want Spartan Wrestling to be about, guys. Good I job. I knew the tournament was going to be like this because we were good wrestling. Spartan's on three, one, two, three. Spartan. 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 Sp